Aeneas was a demigod who carried his mortal father out from the ruins of the burning city of Troy. Matt Frazier is a full human on the precipice of his third consecutive CrossFit Games title. Thank you, Mike. And Matt Fraser being a full human is actually up for debate as his effort here has been superhuman. He will be in the middle of the floor. The two men who are right now on the podium will be right next to him, Lucas Hogberg and Patrick Velder. And I honestly thought that we were going to have a race this weekend. I'll tell you what, we just didn't. We just didn't. We wondered who was going to really be pushing them, and Vellner was the man. And even though there were issues constantly every single day that Pat had to deal with, he overcame and is sitting in that number two position. But my goodness, I thought there was going to be a race. I, just like you said, John, I, we thought he was going to be human. We thought we would see some sort of issue, and we didn't. And once he got his momentum, he was, he was gone, absolutely gone. Matt Fraser looking to wrap up his third straight title of fittest man on earth. Lucas Holberg, meanwhile, trying to finish on the podium at the CrossFit Games for the first time in his career. You know what I've, been, I, what I've loved seeing about Lucas this entire weekend is his face. He has been attacking and fighting and pushing. We saw a couple scuffles even when they were running. He would not let anything go. Never has fallen out of that top three position. And you know what? We got one last, one last deal to go here. Let's see what he can do. Who will join Matt Fraser on the podium? Right now it's Pat Velder and Lucas Holberg, but Brent Fakowski has a chance to work himself back into a top three spot as we open with five trips up and down the pegboard. I have to think, Sean, if you haven't mastered this skill yet, then you have an issue. This is the third time that we've seen the pegboard. So my initial key on this is going to be you must beat the board. This should not be an issue for the athletes that expect to do well here. But this is not the race. The race is on the yoke carry. And to carry that much weight on your shoulders, you must have a steel core. And I'll tell you what, the guys that have had experience with not just yoke carry work, but heavy yoke carry work, are going to have tons of experience and it's definitely going to pay, play to their favor. Matt Fraser is sprinting up and down this thing. The time to beat belongs to Frederick Aguinius, 447.32 seconds. So all these athletes need to do is get their pegs below that line and then they can move their way back up. So Matt Fraser has been non-stop, unbroken so far. Pegs both underneath that red line and they're both up on the top. I haven't seen him touch the mat since we started. Wow. Is done. Look at that. And for the third straight year, the final event is just a victory lap for Matt Fraser. What is so insanely incredible is that you can have an event that really doesn't matter. And you can seriously look at everyone and cruise through this with a smile on your face. How do you do that? Matt Velmer has joined Fraser on the thrusters, as have Cole Sager and Cody Anderson. So Fraser is just really taking some practice swings here. Patrick Velder is ahead of the two men right behind him. That's Lucas Hoberg on the left and Brett Fikowski on the right. Now, Sean, the last time that Hoberg was in the games and there was a pegboard event, he had a rough time. He finished well towards the bottom, around 30, 30, 30 30th place. This is a not what he wants. And, and you know what? He was only—he's right now. He's only 34 points behind Belner and only 34 points above Fakowski. So Fakowski has that pegboard. Obviously, the prowess. He went through there, no problem. But I want to see how Brent is going to be able to handle the weight on those yokes when we get to him. Lucas Hoberg needs to just reel in Brent Fakowski to do some damage control and keep Fakowski from leapfrogging him onto the podium as Matt Fraser continues to crank away on his thrusters. Once he hits that 45 number. He will move on to the yoke, the first one weighing 425 pounds, and I have a sneaky suspicion that that will not be a problem. You know, now the thrusters are really not a big deal for these guys. These are your standings, as those final two spots on the podium are the only ones still in contention. And here goes Matt Fraser on his first yoke carry, Cole Sager at the top of the screen. He's really not in contention for a spot on the podium, but would love to beat Fraser here. Now Fraser reloads the yoke, 565. 
Lucas Hoberg is on to the thrusters. He's got to try and reel in Brent Fikowski if he wants to guarantee himself a spot on the podium. So Fikowski is now done, and he'll move to the yoke, as Frazier is done with his second of three yoke carries. Now he will load it to 665. And look how fast he's moving through these yokes. It's, he's not even having to prep for it. He throws the weight on, loads and goes. That's so impressive. And now Matt Fraser will take a moment. Final yoke carry for Matt Fraser. Once again, Mad Town is Matt's town. For the third straight year, he is the fittest man on earth. And he seals it with his ninth career event win. Cole Sager is across the finish line. Brent Fikowski is on his final yoke carry, and he is well ahead of Lucas Holford. Noah Olsen is in. That's Fikowski trying to jump Holford to the final spot on the podium. Fikowski ahead of Velder. Velder also ahead of Holford, so Velder looking like he's going to wind up on the podium as long as he can get across the finish line as Fikowski is in. Great job by Brent. I was wondering with his height that that would be an issue, and that was not a problem at all. Felder across. Kowski has finished fourth in the event. Felder will finish seventh. Unofficially, Brent Mikowski has scored 84 points. Lucas Holberg was only up by 34. So Holberg has got to hurry. And remember, we have times from prior heats that are starting to factor in. Holberg on his final yoke carry. Gumitson came in, he finished 12th. And now Holberg is across. Holberg unofficially will take 15th. That is 34 points less than Fakowski. Wow. Unofficially, unofficially, they could be tied in points and it will come down to best event finish. Now remember, Holberg earlier today. That's right. That's right. Won an event. That's right. Those two guys battling the entire weekend. Fakowski, his best finish was second in the same event that Holberg won. And this is all unofficial. If it comes down to a tie in points, Holberg should, and I want to emphasize this, should beat Fakowski because of that event win. <laughs> Meanwhile, Willie Georges, the first man from France to represent his country at the CrossFit Games, is on his first yoke carry, and this kid has been impressive as well. You know, I, I love when we have new faces that don't just come to the game, but show themselves at the game. And the fact that we've been able to see Willie George do his thing yesterday with those two wins, unbelievable job. And he didn't just, like I said, he didn't just come here. He showed up and, man, made a name for himself here at the 2018 Rebound Project Games. Willie really George was sixth overall coming into this event. Cole Sager getting the crowd pumped up for the youngster. Brett Fikowski is as well. What an accomplishment for Willie George, who last night beat Matt Fraser in two events. Stud. This kid is a stud. Willie George is in. And with that, the 2018 Reebok CrossFit Games have come to a close. For the third consecutive year, your CrossFit Games champion is Matt Frazier!
one step closer to those four straight titles won by Rich Froning from 2011 to 2014. Catherine Davis Otters won two, Annie Forrest Otter and Tia Tooley have also won two, but I think it's a matter of he's going to win as many as he wants. Let's send it down to Mike Arsenault, who is with your three time CrossFit Games champion. Matt, congratulations. I want to know what was going through your mind during that last event. You were able to do it last year as well. You're looking up to the crowd, you're soaking up the atmosphere. What's running through your head at that moment? Uh, you know, go, going in, you know, there's no minimum work requirement, so, so you know, I wasn't worried about, you know, twisting an ankle and, and not being able to fulfill that, so, you know, I just wanted to send it and go out on a good note. <laughs> you won the final CrossFit Games title in California, and you just put together the two most dominating performances we've seen in CrossFit Games history here in Madison. In your estimation, where do you rank in the list of all-time great athletes in this sport? Uh, you know, I'm not trying to compare myself to other people, you know, they've had their career, I'm having my career, that's, that's it. You mentioned in your Road to the Games episode that your competition persona is a little bit different from your regular persona. You're almost a little bit aloof, just laser focused in competition. Why was it important for you to make that distinction? Uh.